Alright, screenshots. I like screenshots. This is, uh... What he's doing here? This is, um... Dungeon Defenders. And I've been playing it for a bit here, and my frame rate is terrible over there for some reason. I don't know why it was so terrible right there. But this is Dungeon Defenders. It's an action RPG uh, tower defense game. I don't know where the host went. The host is over there somewhere, chilling out. Um, this is the tavern, just where you hang out and apparently build towers for no apparent reason. Whatev. But, um, been playing for a little bit, maybe like an hour or so, and I thought I'd showcase maybe a full level, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but here we go, we're gonna go into whatever level this is. I'm not sure what level this is, let's check the map. Um, hmm, I don't much like the looks of this level. And I can't build anything, because I have no mana. Yay, no mana. Just gonna let everyone else get a chest, maybe? Maybe? Because I don't really need mana. Uh, at least not for the first wave. Basically, you have uh, minions that come out of each of these areas here. Uh, that are marked in red on the map, and you can see it tells you what comes out of that each wave. Um, and the more players you have, the more enemies that come. And basically, you build defenses and stop them from getting to this crystal here. Uh, the last match we had on the previous map um, almost got completely obliterated. It was, it was pretty fun. There is air units this round. Fantastic. I love air units. Let me just point that out, how much I love air units. Um, and the enemies get harder the farther... the th the Well, what, what am I trying to say here? The longer you last, and the farther you get through the levels here. And basically, um, since I have no towers, I'm just going to run up and hit things in the face. Usually works. I'm going to try not to get knocked into the lava, which uh, can kill you, I'm pretty sure, because it is lava, so... So you gotta be careful with that. But you can also throw the enemies in there. Um, I pre-ordered this, which means I should have stuff, but I'm, I still I don't know how to get the pre-order stuff, so... Yeah. I'll try and figure that out later. Maybe. Maybe later. I don't know. Maybe I get it unlocked at a certain level. I don't know. Um, but this game involves a lot of clicking if you're gonna be a melee class, or a class that revolves around hitting things in the face. I almost threw myself off the edge there. Uh, when they're inside that purple spawn area around the doors, you can't hurt them. Uh, so keep that in mind. Just don't just run up to where they spawn, because that won't go well. Um, I am the main ma damage dealer, so you see like these ranged characters. are having a bit of issue killing enemies. Uh, they do have range, but they also have less damage than I do. Um, I don't know how to optimally build characters either, I just kind of click on things until stuff happens. But it's been working so far, so, you know, whatever. And now I can build a tower, so I can show you that. I'm gonna build some spike blockades here. Right there, I'm gonna build one on each of these three staircases. Always good to have a basic defense plan built up. Which for me is to build spike blockades. That's basically what I do, is build spike blockades. Best not be building on my spike blockade area, but buddy. I gotta be building me some spike blockades, man. Um, what else can I build? I could upgrade these spike blockades, actually. That'd probably be a good idea. Um, 100 mana a piece? I can do that. I can do that once. Okay, so that one's upgraded. And each wave, chests spawn in the same place every time, and you get items and stuff that you can put on your character, uh, which is where the RPG elements and stuff start coming in. It's pretty fun. I do like it. I recommend you get it. It's only like $15 or something like that. Um, that's pretty fun. And you can get pets. Like, you can see Wolvenhaven over here has a, a pet dragon that's following him around. Um, not sure where he got that. I think that's from pre-order, but I don't honestly know, so whatever. Yeah, and there's the experience bar down in the bottom left. And we're going to wave three, I believe. Yep. 
So I'm going to go down here and hit things in the face, because that's what I do. That's what I do best, is hit things in the face. It would seem repetitive, because it is repetitive, but it's still fun. If you like tower defense games, uh, you'll probably like this. Items that are better than yours are highlighted green. Neutral, I believe, is yellow, and then, uh, of course, this will be red, so... If it's red, don't pick it up. I've also noticed there's not really any lag issues, which is fantastic. Um, uh, except for right there, where I lost connection! Hooray! <laughs> fantastic. Um, there, apparently you can get mods and stuff for this, I don't know, it was just released today. But uh, I'm going to show you a local one just to get a um, kind of feel for it. Actually, I'm going to make a new character. Let's make a new hero. Um, create hero. There are different heroes. You have the apprentice, which is the mage that you saw earlier. Squire, which is what I am. Huntress, who has a butt, uh, which is also a range. And a monk, which is a, uh, a mix. Class. The Apprentice gets uh, elemental towers and stuff like that. Squire gets very heavy defense towers, like those blockades, which have the most health in the game. Um, the Huntress gets traps that you saw around, um, as he says there. You can just listen to him, but I say it faster. Uh, and the Monk has uh, support stuff. He has AoE support stuff uh, and AoE damage. Um, and I'm going to actually try out... His robe and wizard hat. The um, is eager to delve deeper into the world of the arcane. Hmm. Do I want the Huntress or the Apprentice? I want to make a character of each class eventually, so let's just make an Apprentice here. And they have different outfits you can use, or you could just customize your color if you want. Um, I'm going to use... what should I use? I like Spirited. Let's do that. And there's also outfits you can get. I don't know how to get outfits. I don't really know how a whole lot about this game. Um, Dar Dar. Let's just pick a random name that looks decent. Um, Merlin. No. Crew Fire. There we go. Um, weak names can mean weak warriors. Whatever. You can click edit and make your own name like I did for that other character. Um, but let's see here. So now we have Crew Fire, which is level 0, and we have Ma Mon Death, which is level 10. He has an epic picture. Um, and you can switch between characters, actually, in the, um, in the mission, so, yeah. It's fancy like that. So I'm going to play my Crew Fire dude, and, um, select him, and start. So this is, this is just going to be one player. You saw a four player there earlier. Um, level up is available. Fancy. Welcome to your adventurer's cover. Yes, here, yes, yes. You and your fellow heroes will And you can buy stuff here. And uh, here's the mage's attack. It's ranged. Or he could do that. Apparently. And he could charge it. And that looks cool. Doesn't take any mana either. You can buy stuff from this guy. He's got. Um, these accomplishments thing of will also be reflected in various trophies and decorations here. that will soon come to adorn your tavern walls. But most importantly of all, your tavern enables you to plan your upcoming exploits. This dude's still talking to me. I honestly By don't know. Eternia Crystal, the owner of the oh, tavern, can access the mission setup. From there, the owner can access XP numerous buttons. options, including mission modes. That's a lot of mana. Holy crap! While facing more challenging opponents offers great reward. These difficulties will truly hmm. test your hero's strength and strategy. So it looks like your mana is uh, shared between all your characters. That's a lot of mana to get those uh, bonuses and stuff. I, st I don't know how to get um, how to get my pre-order stuff. Stop doing that. But also, here's trophies if you wanted to see. I got the uh, reach level 10 trophy there. there. There's a whole bunch of trophy spots around this place that you could uh, look at. There's really no purpose to those other than looking at them. Um, but let's go ahead and get it started. In addition to the There's challenges too. Hero Hall of Heroes PvP. To a variety of challenge missions, hmm. each with its That's own it. unique objective. And you could choose difficulties. Um, you get infinite build time. 
um, for these, unless you choose insane, then you don't get the option for that. I'll probably show a video later of insane. And you could get survival mode, uh, which lasts for eternity, and you can change the starting way. And that. No weapons, no hero abilities, just Yay. defenses. These additional gameplay modes will be unlocked as you complete each campaign mission. Good hunting, hero. Indeed. Uh, so pure strategy is basically all-out tower defense. You can't run out there like I was doing and beat things to death. Uh, which is harder, but it's also uh, pretty interesting to do. What are those? Are those the difficulties I've completed them on, or no? Or what? I don't know, it's got ribbons! But let's do this one on easy, because I don't know what I'm doing with this character, and uh, showcase it a little bit to you guys. This is a relatively short one, and I'm not going to show the intro video, it's just the trailer, basically. Uh, you can see it on the website if you want, or you could probably find it on the intertubes if you wanted to as well. Um, so, uh, here we go. Let's see what I've got to build. What is that? Deadly Striker Tower, eh? Travel through walls at low fire rate. Exploding fireballs, and those. So all I have is this magic missile tower, uh, which I can't do yet because I don't have any mana, so I'm going to go break open these chests out here and get some manners. How do I open these? There we go. I'm so used to having the sword, I guess you just stand next to it and push uh, left click or whatever. So I'm going to build some towers. I don't know the range. Those are horrendously small range. Never mind. <laughs> I do know the range. I want to put them up here. And uh, kind of have them as kind of a last last line of defense, if you will. Let's build a couple of those around here. And I'm already out of mana again. Fantastic. This is the problem of being a low level. You have, like, no mana. Uh, so you, you really only build one tower at a time. It's kind of a hindrance. But um, the enemies are super easy at this first area. Even for a level 1 character, they're super easy. Let's be OCD and try and mirror them on both sides. Something like that, maybe. 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 And I'm going to put two down here just to shoot things as they come out. We'll see how that works out, I don't know. Open says me. Thank you. These two should be easier since I'm right down here anyway. Um, do you want it like that? I guess that'll be good. I guess. And there's a fire rate limit on this this casting wand stick of death thing. Sadly, I was hoping I could just spam it real quick, but nope. Can't do that. And now we can start, which means we have to run all the way back up here. There's no sprint button, but you can increase the speed of your character uh, when you level up, which is nice. I don't know what the max level is, but I've seen people at level 100, which is obscene. Or not a level 100, level 70, which is obscene. Yeah, that doesn't do nearly as much damage as before, but you see my towers can pretty easily handle this. Where are the other three minions? Oh, there they are. What's up, bro? And the advantage of this class is you actually have ranged towers. So ranged enemies, like this guy, for instance, don't pose so much of an issue. I guess I could help out just staring at him like that, but whatever. Um, so they don't pose that much of an issue. And let's see, those cost 40, don't they? Yep. Um, you have a limited number of defense units that you can build, by the way. Uh, so you gotta keep an eye out for that. As always, keep an eye out for such things. Build on there. I should honestly be picking up all these items that I'm skipping on my other characters. Um, because apparently it's shared, I guess, so... Yeah. I could pick up mage stabs on my other guy and give them to my mage, which is kind of neat. Not really needed, but kind of neat nonetheless. Also, you can zoom out. You get this view, which is like your first person or third person over the shoulder kind of shooter. And you get this kind of top down view, which is kind of cool. It helps with aiming certain things, uh, not so much ranged, because, you know, it's not the best idea for ranged. 
I'm just going to watch my towers do their thing. It definitely looks like the mage is the easier class out of everything. How dare you get up there, you inconsiderate person you. Oop. I'm going to go pick this up real quick. So they're starting to come out of the, uh, the sides here, actually, so i got to keep my eye on that. Looks like they're pushing away from my towers, which isn't cool, bro. It's not cool. It's not cool. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, except for that guy who managed to get up here and hit it once. How dare he? I'm gonna need more towers around here. Maybe? I don't know. It was pretty easy on this level with the, uh... Whatever my other character's name is. The Squire, because he has those, uh defensive wall towers which he can just place down and the enemies can't get past them so you just run around and mop everything up um, which does make it kind of easy I guess but these range towers no doubt will come in handy later and that ethereal tower seems kinda cool oh I can charge that? that's cool I didn't know I could charge that hmm fancy and when your towers get damaged, you just hit 4 and repair it, assuming you haven't changed any of the hotkeys anyway. Click. I can't. Alright, and I gotta level up. Apparently, so... level up please. And I want... what do I want? Area of effect, no damage, attack rate might be nice. How many points do I have? I have two points. I can put one in that, and one in that. There we go. And let's see here. I'm going to build some more towers up here. And when you level up, you get more mana that you can hold, uh, which is nice. It lets you build more towers without running back down here to pick up more uh, lootsies, which is nice. Like, my other character has, like, what, some obscene freaking 400 mana he can hold or something silly like that. Something silly. Is there anything in this one? Nope. But, you know, this is the game. I hope you like it. If you don't, I don't care. I'm still gonna play it. Whoops. Wrong button. You can also upgrade your towers. Um, I showcased that earlier when I was upgrading my whatchamacallit. I think you have to be a certain level to do that, though. Well, you need at least 100 mana, so you do have to be a certain level before you can do that. Let's see here. Let's build a couple more quick ones. Sadly, I can't fast forward my walking around. That would be fantastic if I could, but I can't. So we're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, stop doing that, me. I keep hitting the wrong button. Um, let's see here. Where do I want more towers? A. Where do I want more towers? I guess I could build one right there and one on the other side in the same area. Or same kind of style, if you will. They take 40, I don't have 40. Oh, I hate when that happens. 34, come on. There we go. So now we can run over here and build my magic missile tower in the same kind of spot. Like that. And let's start it. Now, I've only used half of the uh, the defense points that I have allotted. Uh, you can use all of them if you really want to. I usually end up do using all of them. I probably will in this class anyway, so... And the little icons over enemies, I believe that is their rank. So, the larger the icon, like they just have a green uh, chevron over them. Uh, the people with, like, two golden chevrons are obviously harder than the one with the green one and whatnot, etc, etc. Etc. I don't think I have any other skills except for these two right now, sadly. My other character has a little spinny attack that he can do, which is nice. I think it's better to just spam click. You do more damage over time that way. And the problem is these guys somehow manage to get behind my towers and just beat the crap out of them. Hmm. I don't appreciate that. But I have a better rod now. So yay. I'm gonna repair these. 
I gotta figure out a way to keep stuff from getting behind them. And now we're on wave four. Yay! Super happy victory dance. Is that, is that better? Nope. It is not. Mm, I don't have any other towers still. So I'm going to put two right there to try and defend the back of those. Maybe. Maybe they'll defend it. I don't know. Maybe they'll sit there and twiddle their thumbs. They're... Do they have thumbs? Well, I guess they do have thumbs. They're going to twiddle them. And I hit the wrong button again. Ah, they sigh. Alright. We'll see how this goes. We, I'm handling it pretty well so far. And this is wave four, so... One more after this. Maybe. Well, mm, You know what? I think, I think you guys have had the general idea of what this game is about. Um... So I don't need to show you this anymore. Maybe. Well, uh, yeah, 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 you know. I think it's gone on. I think it's been maybe 20 minutes, and I like to keep them around that. So I will see you guys next time. Um, yay!